And well, earlier this week, Senator John Tester visited Montana this morning to speak on a number of issues. Now, Senator Steve Daines also visited Great Falls yesterday, and MTN got a chance to ask him a few of the same questions that we asked Senator Tester. Now, first, we asked Senator Daines about funding priorities at Malmstrom Air Force Base after President Trump declared a national emergency last week. Tester said money for the border wall could come out of military projects, including here at Malmstrom. Daines says those concerns may be premature. Clearly, we need to secure our southern border and we need to protect these very important projects related to military spending. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's a little early to be speculating about what could happen here, staying in contact with the administration. Uh, the president was here in Great Falls in July. I remember how I proudly pointed out to him this critical mission of Malmstrom. He fully supports this mission and uh, we need to do both. We need to ensure that we protect our southern border and secure it, as well as protect this important mission here in Great Falls. Now we also asked Senator Daines about the missing and murdered indigenous women crisis and the problems that families of victims often encounter, including lack of information from investigating agencies after that crime happens. Daines said that gap in communication is unacceptable and there are fundamental issues on protocol that must be addressed. He also spoke on the possibility of hosting a U.S. Senate hearing on missing and murdered indigenous women here in Montana. Well, uh, I serve on the Indian Affairs Committee in the U.S. Senate. Uh, made a request uh, to the committee leadership there to arrange the logistics to have a U.S. Senate field hearing right in Montana. There's no better place to hear the facts than on the ground close to where the problem is. Uh, the issue of missing and murdered indigenous women is an epidemic. The murder rate of Native women is 10 times that of the national average. And it's affecting us right here in Montana. And I want to, uh, to bring the, the leaders of Washington D.C. out to Montana and hear firsthand uh, from the front lines around what's going on so we can take that back to Washington to help address the problem. And as you probably remember, we did speak with Senator Tester Tuesday morning about the recent legislation prohibiting the Department of Transportation from enforcing electronic logging devices, those rules going toward livestock haulers. Now, Tester said that the legislation gave livestock haulers more flexibility to safely transport their products to uh, uh, and uh, called the pro, uh, pro prohibition a uh, practically a practicality issue. Now, Dane says it's one of the biggest egg issues around the state and that he is working toward uh, workable common sense regulations. Well, when we're in Great Falls, we're in one of the, I think, key areas in the state that relate to our ag economy. It's our number one economic driver in Montana. Again, I've been all over eastern Montana the last several days, now western Montana, central Montana. Uh, spent a lot of time talking to haulers. And we want to make sure we have uh, you know, a common sense, workable regulation that ensures two things. One, the safety of drivers and their roadways. But two, regulations that actually work to allow our haulers here to get their products to market. So uh, we'll find a solution here. I'm glad to see another extension that we just got in the recent legislation. It gives us a little more time to work this out. But we're actively engaged because as I travel around the state, it's one of the number one issues I hear from our ag community is this issue with the ELD and, and haulers. And if you would like to review Senator Tester's time here on Montana this morning and responses from both of the senators, you can find those on our websites.